Hey folks, Whip here, and today with my friend Smallish Beans, we're going to be doing a build swap. But to make things more interesting, we are starting on Minecraft version 1.0. And each time we swap our builds back and forth, we are updating by one Minecraft version. Click that like button down below and subscribe if you're brand new as we go on this journey through time. Hi, llamas. Minecraft 1.1, here we go, ya boy Steve here, and it's time to get some building. Look at how beautiful this gravel texture is. Oh my gosh, I have not been in Minecraft 1.1. Oh, I don't think ever. I don't think I even started playing this game then. So what we got in here is, oh, the first time opening the inventory. What is that? Is that clay? Oh God, this is what we used to play this game with? Our goal here is to build a house. We're in 1.1. We don't have much to go off of. We have wood, 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 and wooden planks. Now we have this amount of space to be working with in here, and I'm thinking we can start off with a little bit of terraforming to raise ourselves up just a touch, and then we can add some more interest to this plot itself here. So if we bring this guy all the way around, I've got the terraforming sorted out for the most part now, and I've decided what I wanna do. I wanna make it feel like we are at the edge of the ocean or a river delta where it's all, we're gonna have a little bit of a river area coming down here and starting to divide up into a bunch of different pathways that would be leading out to the ocean. So we just gonna have kind of a fun environment in this place. So I just stumbled across something here. You can't place a slab on the upper half of a block inside this version. That's gonna be fun to work with. Does it work on the oak slabs? Nope. No, it does not. Okay, well, that's good to know. Adding a few little rocks with some mossy stone and some cobblestone along the edges, we can really start to mix this up and make it look like we actually have some of an effect of the waters washing things down this way. But now that that section of the plot here is finished up, ready to go, we really gotta start focusing on how we can get a house over here. I'm thinking the house will be up into this section. And what I wanted to do probably was, I think we're just gonna need to build up a big circle for ourselves. So if we go off back here, I think that's okay though, that'll give us a good amount of space over there, and what we can do on top of that one is we can have another little bit of a section sticking out over here, because I think if we just do the one, it's gonna feel very, very flat and boring. They'll be overlapping just slightly, and we can get a doorway that'll lead through the two of them, and we can have the main door entrance into the main guy, probably somewhere right in those three blocks. We can have a little archway to get inside. So I've been working through it so far, and I think our build literally is just going to be made out of spruce and oak with an oak roof and oak walls and everything in there. I might come and tweak those again later on. But for right now, I like that little bit of the trim we have with the note blocks throughout there, which, by the way, there's no shift clicking. There's no shift clicking to place it on top of things. So that's a big bummer. Working on the roof center section now, we've just got this weird shape coming all the way up here. It cuts off at the end of the plot, so it looks a little bit weird there, but I think I'm actually gonna be changing these pillars to oak, because I think the all oak thing might work a little bit better. And that I think is gonna have to be the roof for this build for now. Oh God, ah, it's not as bad as I was thinking it would be originally, but it's not the best thing. Maybe we do a stair here in the center. There we have it, the general outside shape of the house is done. Gotta get some rocky bits along the edge over there, and then we can do some farmland out in the front. I don't think I'm gonna do any trees or anything quite yet, because uh, all we really have is oak leaves, and I don't really wanna do just a plain oak tree when we have an oak build over here, so we can just leave it down low and have this be the fun terrain point, but now I've gotta decorate the inside. Not really sure what's going on in the front section over here, but I've got a lot of the upper area finished to the side go with a spiral pattern for this area. So it leads into our bedroom right up here. We got a nice little bit of a table and I think I probably need some more torches in here, but we can do something over here too. I'm thinking just like some tables and chairs right in there. We've got some furnaces over here leading on into the kitchen in this side. We've got, I don't really know, some sort of a cooking station right over there, some more books. And then we've got a full little decorative roof going on up in this section. I'm really enjoying it. I'm thinking the last thing we can do out here just to help bump that up a little bit further is adding some more of the slab action but we got a super simple bridge that just drops you right down here a little tight on the corner for now because we've got the leaves in the way but it's all good now it's time to hand it off to joel and see what we're getting next Moving on to 1.13.2 now is I just got our world back from Joel. Okay, so it looks like he added a little bit of stone brick around there and we've got some extra bushes and things around the house. I'm liking that. That's looking pretty good and a little bit of tweakage down here maybe. I still love that we're just butting up against the end of the plot here, but I did find something out while I was looking through this stuff is we are now on the version where we have slabs that can go on the upper half of a block instead of them always being on the bottom half. <laughs> 
There we go. That helps us out quite a lot in there. And then we can come up here with removing some of these fence gates that we have and start adding a little bit more character. Oh my gosh, we actually have spruce slabs. Wait, do we have stairs as well? <gasps> we do. Do we swap the roof out for spruce? For now, I'm definitely doing this to help our doorway in there. That looks much, much better. Ooh, there's some nice trim down here on the floor too. Oh, I like that. Oh, he changed this out as well. Wow, our kitchen got a whole transformation in here. I love this. This looks so much better than what I had. Now, 1.13.2 changed a lot of things with the wooden slabs and how we have a lot more of the wooden blocks for us here too. But it also gave us the ability to have some logs that go sideways, which are actually really funny to place. But I was thinking with that coming into play here, we could build a pretty large spruce tree in the back. I don't know why, it just seems like a fun thing to add over here. Something like that should be pretty dang good for this whole thing in here. And then we just start adding in a bunch of leaves and I wanted to make it feel like the leaves were really hanging down, very drastic and kind of artistic for the shape of the tree. So we start inching them all the way down to the sides like this and maybe extend that down there. We can get a few different leaves that are kind of like that one and then this one up here. And then if we do that on all the different branches and maybe extend a few coming down this way here as well, we can get a really cool looking tree in the end. On the end of this glorious Minecraft day, we now have a pretty cool looking spruce tree over here. I think that guy turned out really well. Just went with that same pattern we were falling for the leaves down at the bottom and added that onto every single one of the branches. And then just this top area did a lot of spam. I tried to cover up pretty much every single bit of the oak fences that we have in there and just add a little bit more character to it. But thankfully in this version, we don't have to use a bed anymore because we now have had, we now have access to commands. Messing around with a few more little bits of detail block action in here. Can I just place this lever? That would be great. I don't know why. I figured levers would be kind of a cool ad that we could do here to help have this bridge kind of smoothing its way over the top. And then I believe we also got, no, we don't have walls. Walls are coming in the next version then, okay. But can I put mushrooms down here? They have to be in a certain level of darkness. That's right. Okay, so we can do a few little mushrooms back in this area. Honestly, cannot wait until we get Podzil and Core stirred. I think that's going to really help this build out a lot. Last little thing I saw we did get, though, was some access to some signs. So I thought these could be kind of a cool front way to... I thought these could be a cool way to signify the front entrance right here. Just putting some on that side. And then maybe we can cram some right on the outside here, too. No, they're not going to fit on, on there. Okay, that's totally fine. We can just leave it like that. I love this entrance, though. I really enjoy not having an actual door to get into our house. It's a very weird thing to be saying, but it's kind of true. I think this looks a lot better being able to have the open air entrance inside of there. It really goes with the style we're using here. But I think it's about time we send this one off to Joel and see what he adds on. Minecraft 1.6.4, one of the first versions I have ever played of the game. It looks like we got a new potato and carrot field over here and I'm seeing, ooh, a creeper head. Yep, I love having that right next to my bed. Definitely not gonna be haunting memories and nightmares from that guy. Mm -mm, nope, none at all. Well, it looks like down here we've got a few things. I did notice that in this version we finally have hardened clay, aka terracotta. So I was thinking one thing that we could do a quick swap out action back in here was to be replacing this entire building that we have on this lower ring with the hardened clay going all the way around where we have the spruce wood. Definitely gonna have to remember that all the paintings are popping off too, but I think it could be really cool. Now for a quick update to me placing random eggs inside of Joel's build, I decided to expand it. Instead of just changing where the egg is, every single version that we go through, I'm gonna be adding a new egg in an item frame around his base. I'm really waiting to be able to build a chicken coop and do that inside of his place too, just because I know he loves chickens and he would love to have them over there. But let me know how long it is until he actually finds where the eggs are located, at least finds one of them. That's what I'm really waiting for. What version will he first find one? Because at this point, I think there's three of them. At the time of recording this little clip here, because I've been in his base three or four different times, or his house, and I've added one every single time. Well, there we have it now. The terracotta is going around that entire side, and I think that looks much better. I'm gonna connect that in there so we have that consistent line across there as well. I think the terracotta in there is pretty sweet. I keep trying to press off to find zoom key in the latest versions, but we don't have it. But if we go into here into the hardened clay, what could maybe look pretty good with this? Maybe these guys? I think one thing we can do is just make this overhang the edge of the plot here just a little bit, just to have the roofs finished. It's really starting to bother me, but it's fine. It's okay. I'm thinking we do a little bit of a repurposing for this central area since we're not really using it. And I realized that I never included an enchanting area. So this house really isn't all that efficient as a Minecraft base if we don't have an enchanting area. So I was thinking right in here, we could just open up everything right throughout this point, throw one of them enchanted tables in there and see if we can't do some spruce planks in the center. 
Grabbing our diamond sword, that puts us at level 30 right there. Absolutely awesome. What enchant would we get out of this guy? Just just for that, ooh, sharpness three, I'll take it. Not the worst, not the worst. But there we go, we've now got the enchanting set up ready to rock for ourselves. And I'm thinking what I might do is get rid of that guy, get rid of, and put him right back over there. And we need more, so to make it even, we'll do them all the way around that edge. This is about as Minecraft 1.16.4 of an enchanting setup I think we could possibly have, so it looks pretty perfect to me for this here update. But that's kind of all I'm thinking we can do in this version. I've got so many plans for the next future version. So let's send this over to Joel for 1.7.10. Version 1.8.9 now, my friends. We've got a lot of cool things going on around here now. It looks like Joel swapped everything in this area. What is that? Brown stained clay, some terracotta, and dark oak wood. I really like that going up the spruce wood above too. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I think it was. It looks really nice though. But inside this version, we now have access to things like andesite, which still is a pretty disgusting texture for the game. But at least it's kind of nice and we can mix it up into here and all that cool stuff but we don't have slabs or stairs for it yet which i completely forgot those got added at a later point but then i was thinking we also got the new fences so we can start adding some of them like some roots around here and changing out what we had on the trees over here with the dark oak fences. It's gonna help this thing feel a lot more completed for sure, especially changing them out in here. Then it won't look like some stripped wood inside the middle of it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's looking a lot better. The next thing I was thinking is now that we kind of have the spruce wood gone inside of the structure, I was thinking we could bring that in as a trim around the building because right now it's just oak wood and it's a little too much on the roof. I know we've been spending a lot of time just swapping textures around and kind of fine tuning and tweaking the build, but it's cool seeing all that stuff coming in as the versions roll out. Next version, however, I think is where we can install some world edit and start doing some really fun stuff with that. So grabbing a little bit more spruce here and fixing up these last little bits over here. That adds a lot more character to the build, and I like that. I think that's a great little touch for it. Next time though, I'm thinking we really gotta raise everything on the sandy shore level that we have here. Probably bring everything that's not at the water up two or three blocks, then we could turn it into a very cool coastline, bit of an atmosphere, instead of right now, it's just kind of right onto it. So we can get some stones and things in here to really make it more fun. Full honesty here is uh, Joel and I have been recording this for over a month at this point in time between trading back versions and things like that, and both of us being extremely busy with other things <laughs> 100 days of hardcore maybe something along those lines but anyways we're back it's been a long time since i've been in the world and i see a donkey behind us and some parrots look at that little donkey he was waving at us how are you doing buddy oh donkey jeremy of course of course there's a donkey jeremy i appreciate that he has his own little towel to hang on on the beach interesting spot to pick out here but you know look at all these cute parrots oh i love them they're so cool I've got the wooden axe in hand because I installed the world at it and I want to do a little bit of fun stuff over here getting the terrain worked out in this area. I'm having a lot of fun terraforming recently and I thought it'd be an awesome idea to basically move everything we have here up like five blocks and then also move this side up like five blocks and we can work down in this lower section and make it really really cool. So if we come all the way up here position two and we go uh, move and five. Oh God. <laughs> What have I done? I don't know. I hope it works though. Oh god, it's flowing everywhere. The water. Oh god, no. Uh, Doggy Jeremy, please approve of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just give me a second. Crisis averted at this point. At least we don't have flowing water anymore. But now I get to do the fun stuff of actually fixing this. Now, I thought it would be fun. Instead of doing the typical stone cliffs and everything like that that we have, I guess I also need to move that bridge up here. But we could do something a little bit more interesting. What do we have in here now? What blocks are we working in? We're in 113.2. Maybe we pull out some cyan terracotta. And do we have concretes? We do. We do. Yes, we have that guy right there. That could be. Oh, we also have coral. Can I maybe do dead brain coal at the bottom? How would this work? So we go like that, and then we do these guys, and we do these. That could work. Okay, let me see what I can mess around with. First little spot over here is done, and it's looking interesting. I don't think if it's quite perfect yet, but maybe we can take this guy, replace four, do that. Little Look at these little world edit commands for y'all here. And that's not how you do that one. I will say though, being back in the aquatic update right now has made me realize that uh, I always thought the aquatic update came after we had the new texture update and it definitely did not. So this is really kind of breaking my brain right here. The coral down here is a little weird, but I kind of like it. I think that's actually working out pretty well for us. So I'm gonna keep this going all the way around, get that stuff fixed up, move the bridge up and we'll see where we're at from there. I came over to be nice to the parrots and I just realized their names, all of them, every single one. Every single one is named Whip Smells. I thought he had given me a gift. This is no gift. 
There we go, the entire build is now lifted up. We've got a lot more space down here and apparently even some floating blocks right over here accidentally, but that's totally fine. Moving up the tree was more of a pain than anything. All of the burbs, we got one down there and the rest, they're no longer on the plot and it's totally fine. Next up is that I realize is that now that we're in the aquatic update, we can waterlog things and that is awesome. So I want to spend a little bit of time running around here, spending some time working on that and just smoothing out this shoreline that we have and also bringing the shoreline sugarcane back into this area. On top of that, we have the ability to add some vines in here to help add the little bit of the extra lushness and everything. So I thought adding some of these dudes to the sides could be really fun. They're probably gonna get completely out of control and grow everywhere and I'm gonna hate it in a few minutes, but it's totally fine for now, right? Unfortunately, we don't have all of the slabs and stairs for pretty much every type of stone block yet, but we got to be able to work with at least some things down here, which is starting to look a heck of a lot better. Do we have smooth sandstone? No, we don't have slabs that yet. Bummer. The last thing that we can add down here, oh, is a little bit of the dead coral fan action and then the horn dead coral and all those big dudes over there. I think that can add a lot of extra texture and life down to this area, really bringing in that beachy vibe. I love that. I feel like we have a really good balance of thirds going on right now in the build with this lower section. We've got all that stuff there in between. And then bam, we got the building to look up to from on top as well. And the donkey can't get out unless he wants to go out to the ocean. So that's even better. You're staying down here, Donkey Jeremy. Present day Minecraft 1.16. Oh, it feels good to be up here. And I've just got a few things that I was thinking we could tweak. We've got the nether blocks handy now and I figured it was time to throw a little bit of extra flair into this build we've got all the things like the warp trap doors we can do around here along all of the windows for some cool shutters I love the color pop that we got off of these and it works so well with the antisite the structure is really filled up Ooh, I love the bamboo touch over there but the structure is so filled up the entire plot at this point in time that there's not a whole lot we can do maybe we pop a little window right back out in there with the white stained glass pane and then we could jump on out to the outside and do a little trapdoor guy right like there. But that's kind of the edge of the plot. So there's not much room we can go with. An idea we can play with here, though, is if I instead of having the cobblestone around the base, we can incorporate some of the polished black stone as a trim along the bases, like these supporting stones that we have. I've got it done on the terracotta structure for now, and I do like that. That actually turned out pretty well. So I am going to continue that across. Oh my gosh, we have a campfire. Huh, I never even thought about that. Oh, that looks really good. But one thing that just made me think about here though, was what if we take some of these trap doors and have them extending into the center to help add some more support. Now that is feeling a lot more grand when we walk inside and that is awesome. What if we grab some barrels here too? and bring these at the bottom of these pillars. I don't know if it's gonna work out too well or not. Don't hate that to be honest. And I guess we do have the stripped wood. That is spruce logs right there. We can change those out for strip spruce. And that was so absolutely worth doing. Okay, this area's looking a million times better now. And I, I see we got a little bit of a kitchen remake over here with all these fancy schmancy things all over the place, which I'm kind of loving. And we've got this little loom structure right there with the doors on the sides, which is pretty cool. What if we turn this into a double fridge, a double wide fridge? Check it out, twice the space. As I'm messing around with this, I'm remembering more and more blocks that we got in 116. It seems like I was like, oh, we got everything. And now I'm like, no, we also got chains in this. Okay, so we can do that, get a little bit extra light down in here, get rid of the extra hanging lanterns. And of course I have to do it. I have to put hanging vines in here somewhere for the crimson type. I just love them. They look like little hot peppers hanging from the barrel. Here we are, Joel, in 1.16. Woo, finally up here, yay. It's over. So We've exciting, so pretty. Everything's so much nicer than that horrible 1.1 version. Oh my God. Literally just the change of the texture pack over to the new version of it, like the present oh, day of Minecraft. It instantly just made the build look so much better. I just, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it looks good. It's, it looks really good. Really yeah, I'm really build. happy with how this one came out. I love this little atmosphere down here, like along the water. I was so waiting for 1.13 to be able to add the waterlogged slabs and things down here. And we got a donkey. Jeremy oh. loves you on his beach towel. He, he's, yeah. chilling. he's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what? I bet you didn't change this. Come over here. Huh? Oh, God. What did you... <laughs> I did this in like version like where as soon as the heads were in the game. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, I can't believe you didn't notice that. I thought you would have when you raised it up, but that's no, I, I didn't touch the ground at all. I just moved it upwards. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh, I was like, dear. I won't even bother trying to do a basement anywhere. There's no space. But yeah, very nice, very nice. It's it's mad how different it looks inside now. Oh, I do like the the spruce strap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. I had those in. I was like, oh wait, I think I think you had a bunch of lanterns hanging up here, and I was like, I'm sorry. I 
I have to remove your lanterns. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I did add in this fire thing here that I don't know why I thought the smoke looked cool. From the I outside, saw the smoke but... from the outside and was like, oh my God, I love that. Because originally before I turned this into the enchanting thing, there was a bunch of soul sand down here because I yeah. wanted a giant bonfire in the center, but I didn't want to burn down my house. Yeah, I was going to light that, <laughs> but we didn't have the fire roll thing back in the early versions. I, had... I, I like how there's still some remnants of like the old versions, like this chair and table. I feel like it's very much <laughs> That's an old so old artifact. school. It's so old school. I love it. I love oh my god! I, I like that though because it's like... It shows the journey we've taken mm -hmm. throughout this I whole I tried process. not changing everything. I like even this roof for the building here, I did not like it. Because I don't like it being oak wood. It works now, I think. Be yeah. But uh, originally I would have not done oak wood up here. I would have done something totally different. Yeah, but that's all you had. And you know what? Yeah. We went with it. It's gone. It stayed this way. Oh, and there we have it, my friends. The entire build swap is now completed. I hope you all did enjoy this journey going from Minecraft 1.0 all the way up to 1.16.4. Did you enjoy the build swap? Let me know down in the comments below. Should we do more of these things here? Or let me know any other crazy ideas you have for build swap type stuff that we can get going. But please be sure to click that like button down below. If you did enjoy, click that subscribe button if you're brand new. And with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.